Dragon Ball Super Episode 35 Review, and the episode is titled, Turn Anger Into Power, Vegeta's All Out Battle. Now, okay, let's start off with the things I did not like about the episode. Let's just get the bad out of the way so I can talk about the great. I did not like Frost getting one shot by Vegeta in terms of animation. The fact that he got one shot by Vegeta is fine with me, but the way he one shot at him just pissed me the fuck off, alright? I mean, it, 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 it looked lazy and cheaply animated, and I did not like that. And I felt like they spent a little too much time with the Beerus and uh, Chomp Up, Rock, Paper, Scissors thing. I felt like that whole thing was a little unnecessary. But it did give us some good, awesome interaction between both characters. So I'll take it. But now, let's talk about all the good. Because that was literally my only problem with this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super. So, why are we talking about Hit right now? Hit in this episode. Hito. Hito. Hit. Whatever you want to call him was amazing in this. He was so goddamn good. Oh my god. So, okay. So, after Vegeta defeats Frost, while Choppa and Beerus are arguing about something, Frost tried to sneak off, because, you know, he's already revealed that he's a war criminal, and he's done all this shit, and, you know, Kaba, it's a Kaba, Kaba, the space police, and wants to arrest him. So what he does here, this is very interesting, is when he's sneaking away, Vado goes to intervene, but before she can do it, which, of course, she could have easily done it, but she was taking her knife that time, uh, hit, intervene, and just, they just looked at him, he doesn't speak at all. He, and then, like, the back, or the background behind, behind him, like, shatters, and then the key blast, or something, like, he's, like, holes appear all over Frost, and it's, like, key just pours out, goes out of all the holes, it's, like, a key inside his body, is, like, imploding or something, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it was really cool and fucking scary, not, no, it didn't scare me, but for Dragon Ball, I thought like, it was a little dark, and I like it, it's something different, but I really enjoyed that. Now, Vegeta fight with Megeta. Beautiful. Vegeta fight with Megeta was beautiful, guys. It was beautiful. It was perfect. I loved it. It was, it was unique. It had strategy in it. It was unique. That was great. There didn't much to really talk about. Vegeta fired him. Key left at him. We, he responded by shooting lava. Beerus, you know, can play into using a gun. But then it did explain that Megeta's race, or people like Megeta, their saliva is lava. Which I found very interesting. But yeah, but during one thing I mean, we're talking about where Beerus is like, where Goku wants to go talk to Monaka, because Beerus uh, is looking at a dam in Goku's hand and he proves to the referee. He shows him the mark from the uh, needle, so this way Goku can compete. And he said, Do I get to go after Monaka? And he's like, No, you'll go after Vegeta. Monaka goes there. And we comment that Monaka is asleep. He's unconscious. Ever since Goku fired by Kamehameha in the beginning of the first round. Which kind of blew my mind. Then yeah, I'm like, he, Goku landed a hit and I punched in his face and it hurt. Now Bruce is all nervous. He's like, no, go bother Monaka. And he makes up a bullshit excuse that you bother Monaka while he's concentrating a key. He'll blow up the whole planet by mistake. Now, I don't think Monaka is weak. Don't think it's weak. I don't think so. I did think this is just Beerus is hiding something. I don't know what it is, but I definitely don't think Monaka is weak. It's possible. I just don't think so. But yeah, I'm going to point out that that did happen in the episode. Beerus was sweating the whole time, and he was like, and we see him in conversation, how long will you keep it a secret? And he's like, as long until the very end, nobody will know. So there are two options. Monaka is either weak, He's very strong, or maybe he doesn't want Goku to know how that he go. Am Airport talks about this in the podcast, which will be going live on Tuesday. But maybe Mageta, maybe not Mageta, maybe no Monaka is actually very powerful, but Goku is still the strongest person he's ever fought. And because Goku is the strongest person he's ever fought, maybe he worried Goku would become too overconfident and end up losing the fight. But yeah, I'm a little out of breath when I recorded it, and I'm sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I think One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day. And I'm sorry this review was so late, but things happen. I'm really tired. Yeah, have a great day, guys.